Like that, that's insanity. Of course, Wadi getting very far into the winner's bracket now, fighting for his tournament life here, trying to stay alive, trying to get into this top eight loser side, but he's gonna have to get through Meister, the best game and watch in the world. Oh, for sure. You know what, it's actually, a, honestly, I love watching Meister play, just uh -huh. because, you know, everyone just kind of slept on this character. He really flew under the radar for a majority of the community, uh, or just how much shenanigans Game & Watch has. Yeah, I mean, the, the glow up was real here for Meister. Um, season one, pretty solid, but his, C his PGR, the season two of PGR, Meister was taking names, man, and he has had a very successful season. And he's really showing the just the community what this character is capable of. Oh, man. Yeah. If you didn't have a chance to see uh, Meister versus Sonics from yesterday, I would say go check that out. That was a real treat for sure. Oh, yes. So <laughs> many incredible sets, man. <laughs> And that, that was, was just day one, bro. That was just day one. That was just to make it to day two. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, now we have another amazing set coming at you. Wadi versus Meister. And both these characters are uh, kind of veterans, man, in the video game world. Both of them pretty old. <laughs> oh, man. Are we are we, are we pushing the age? The retro, bro. We got, we got the retro oh, you battle mean the, going the, the actual characters. Okay. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> okay, he's okay. filling up the bucket here. Now, Game & Watch is incredibly light. That up air is going to start killing very, very soon. Uh, Rob has access to very strong aerials, very strong smash attacks, and Wadi's just doing a really good job of keeping Game & Watch out. One of Game & Watch's biggest strengths is that up B out of shield. Um, very, very strong, so you got to be very careful how you pressure this character's shield. That's true, especially if you're like trying to land on a character, you can expect to get hit by it. It's not going to have a lot of launch. It's not going to have a... a oh, okay. Good down throw into up air. Yeah, Wadi knew exactly when and where he was going to mash out of that down throw berry, and pretty much just read, read his, how good his mash was. And usually you can mash and buffer air dodge at the same time, but it's pretty hard because you're like mashing it, you know what I'm saying? So really hard stuff to do. And Wadi going to go ahead and get this uh, get this lead. The That's bucket right. actually reflecting the top, though. That's right. You, you forgot the bucket the bu can, in fact, just reflect physical yeah. projectiles and absorb uh, energy projectiles. I like Wadi's answer to the neutral B. You know what? You're going <laughs> to try to here. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm out, bro. I and he has so much stalls with the aerials. That's true. I'm a robot. I don't eat breakfast. Wow, the down air stagger on the landing, really good stuff. It'll catch a lot of people off guard that are trying to like parry a fair or something like that. And whoa, the DI on that one was suspect. Another just amazing up air, and that's going to put uh, Meister at his last stock for game one, where Wadi's still sitting on all three. He's looking real healthy. Yeah, and I, you know what? This actually, it, this sounds hard for Meister because Game & Watch really thrives off of characters that have to like pressure your shield uh -huh. and, you know what I mean, go for all the cross-ups and stuff, but Wadi, is playing a very safe character, and Wadi is just a very safe player at that as well. So it, I don't feel like Wadi is going to overextend in the Meister that much, which is going to make this really, really rough for Meister. Okay, but we see him there into up air, and guess what? Continue. Wadi can stay in the air all day if he wants, and guess what? Meister's going to help him. Whoa, whoa. whoa. Are you He's going to you... make it back. He's going to make it back. Okay, okay. Whoa. Well, he's still <laughs> off stage, though. Meister keeping the pressure up. Yeah, probably uh, not charge that down smash. Wadi will typically uh, go high for his recovery. Yeah, he didn't. Uh, he didn't get the stock, but Meister got quite a bit of damage on Wadi here. Already 74%, and and counting, man. This up air juggle into the up B, slowly but surely. Meister bringing his way back. He's only taking like 49%. If he can seal out the stock very soon, he's gonna be in this game. Yeah, the key put uh, Meister in a good position to really pressure Wadi even down below the stage. But Wadi was ready with uh, the forward air just to combat any pressure. But with oh my God, another up air so okay. high. But good DI coming from Meister. He's living. Yeah, that time he DI'd it correctly. Yeah, the other right. time. Definitely not. Well, he flew straight up last time. All yeah, right. sometimes you can get crossed up on the DI there, and Rob's up air will kill extremely early in that case. All right, reaching with the turtle. He's going to drop down really far. Ooh, but the ooh, that stall. He's not going to make it back. Oh, oh, directional air dodge. That's right. He can directional air dodge after the LB. I forgot. Yeah, <laughs> both these characters with very solid recoveries. I think Game Watch is a little bit better, though. And Wadi with the missed tech, trying to get an air dodge, but I'm Game Watch, man. I'm up being out of all these sticky situations. Yeah, get me out of here, boys. Nine? Oh, no, he didn't go for it. Maybe not the percentage just yet. Maybe too much rage. Uh oh. But look at Meister. He's going really hard off stage, and Wadi just staying calm, going low. Yeah, typically from what I've heard from Meister's coach is that he won't actually uh, go for the nine too often. When he goes for the nine, it's when he's like trying to show off or he's really feeling himself. But down smash almost going to kill him across stage. 144% on this 2D character, and the Nair is going to save wow. Meister. That back air was looking, uh, <laughs> looking grim. Yeah, it was looking ready. We saw the engine starting to rev up. That fire was coming out. Oh no, Wadi is okay. Now Wadi's trying to like really fishing for this stock, and he's taking quite a bit of damage. But the Nair, is it going to finish him off? No, great DI coming out from Meister. Is this supposed to be a light character? Why is this character still living? <laughs> I mean, Nair is definitely not the strongest move, but whoa, the forward air. Got the shield out in time. 
Okay, and look at that. Looking for the anti-air up smash. They're not going to find it. And Air's going to connect for Wadi. Getting double key on the way down. Yeah, with the cross up as well. You got to watch out. That down air is pretty powerful. The laser. And man, Meister is still alive. 179. One of the lightest characters in the game. This time. Okay, you're dead. Right, finally. <laughs> Man, and look at that. Wadi just taking a sigh of relief. Bro. He knows just how far he was ahead in game one. And then Meister was able to bring it back. And then Wadi had to start working just to get a kill. Like, Meister was at kill percent for close to two to three minutes. Yeah, it was <laughs> wild. Meister doing such, an, such a phenomenal job of staying alive, making it really, really difficult. Getting, like, extending to the point where, okay, I can get hit by these certain moves, but, like, obviously not by, like, these hard-hitting kill moves, right? And he was just doing such a great job of spacing his nair, spacing his bears. So, man, what a what a comeback. And I feel like even though Wadi won that game number one, Meister's the one coming in with the momentum on game number two. Right. I mean, it, look at how much damage uh, he was able to put onto Wadi within the last couple minutes. And now we have a... Change of stage. Town and city. We're going to have a, a lot more space to work with. Platforms are ever-changing, and sometimes we get a little bit of final destination. You know, platforms leave, and then they come back. That's right. And I feel like really the pressure from once Wadi, if Wadi is able to land on a platform, the pressure that Meister is going to be putting out is going to be immense. Using the double jump with the, the bucket to get some height there. But man, Wadi got all the bases covered here for Meister's recovery. OK, the Nair does land. It's going to send Wadi up really high. Not able to follow up with pressure while Wadi's in the sky. Okay, there's the, the jab. Wadi just going to try to jump out there. His corner pressure is getting overwhelming, but man, Meister is keeping it up. Getting a couple forward airs. F smash coming from Wadi. Man, this Nair is a godsend for Meister. Like, that move is so good. It hits everywhere. <laughs> it's gigantic, bro. And you can convert. <laughs> Using the top here. Getting back to the ledge. Ooh, tried to get that, uh, that up smash there, but Meister the one going to end up with the grab. He's up there, force him out, and man, Nair is just, again, just that disjoint is very, very hard to deal with. Yeah, of course, the fish is also coming out, and, you know, they protect Meister as well. Up air, going to land onto Meister, but good DI is going to keep him in the game. Down throw, okay, chasing with the up air, but the ejection button was pressed. Yes, get me out of here. There is some intangibility, but hanging on the ledge a little too long, you're going to catch the flames from Wadi. Mm -hmm. Okay, but now it's Wadi's turn to... Uh, Play the ledge game. Oh. Down tilt's all it took. I feel like that was the first time Wadi got up attack too. That yeah. that like usually everybody gets one, you know what I mean? Like the first get up attack usually always works, but not this time. Meister ready with that shield and the punish to follow as well. Yeah, well my, Wadi has also been like jumping from the ledge with with forward air. So being aggressive from the ledge is something that Wadi has been doing. True, so maybe true. he wasn't even expecting the, the wake up attack, but just a fair and then to pressure with down tilt. Man, that neutral B looking, looking like it comboed into the up B there. Really, really creative stuff coming out from Meister. And he's the bucket to reflect here, getting a little extra height, just going straight to the ledge. The roll will get caught, though, but Meister, like you said, that eject button, so, so strong. Whoa. <laughs> F smash, going to whiff. Both oh. players not in a position to punish. The cross-up coming in from Meister with the uh, with the back air, just the full drift out, and wow! Oh, the call out! Wow, Wadi tried to get the sickest reversal there. Watch out for the hammer, though. Yeah, don't drop the hammer on him like that. All right, up air. It's going to connect after the ejection button. Okay, coming in with fair and really good call um, from Wadi. You don't have to respect that bomb as much as you think from the forward air as, uh, from Game Watch. You can actually just hit it, hit the bomb. So uh, if you're just coming in with the hitbox, you'll win in those situations. And that's why Wadi, every time he sees that forward air coming out from Meister, he's like, you know what? I'm just going to do forward air on my own. Okay, but a dash up, up, down tilt is going to take another stock from Wadi. That down tilt has uh, some crazy launch. Yes, Let it is. Look into that. <laughs> quite, quite strong here, and Meister taking multiple stocks from Wadi throughout the set with it. Oh, actually, Wadi actually landed the spinny arms, but wasn't able to drag Meister off stage. Kind of unfortunate for Wadi. I'm pretty sure that's what he was banking on. Oh yeah, 100. percent And again, I mean, we've seen the top disabled time and time again, but this time Wadi gonna catch Meister going high with the up air to meet him. Okay, gonna throw the top down. But here's the combo starter. Here's that Nair. Man, and he's still going, setting up the forward air as well with the directional air dodge back on the stage. And he's still going in on this edge guard. That's right. More back airs coming out from Meister. Now we see some up airs. Wadi likes to chill in the air, especially really high up. Guess what? Meister with the assist. Hey, where, where he's going to help bro? him stay up there. Where are you going, man? Why don't you go low? Why don't you go for this ledge, man? <laughs> don't worry. I, I got I got projectiles to cover up there too, man. I got, I got this young up air. The thing is, like, yeah, he's taking percent. But it's really not in a... He's no, there's no threat of losing the stock. I mean, I'll <laughs> take 150 damage. Like yeah, You're right. You're right. 
Dang, man. Especially when you're still chilling at 23. Pretty soon, Nair's just going to kill. Or he can give him the chair. Well, and just like that, man, Meister just not letting Wadi play the game, honestly, on that last dog. Meister giving him the chair. That man must be a fan of the WWE or something. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes you got to <laughs> do it to him, bro. You got you to gotta bring the old school tactics in. <laughs> But now, okay, so when we saw Wadi drop a game earlier in the day, earlier in our block, uh -huh. we saw him change characters to Wii Fit Trainer. Do you think he's in the same similar position? Nah, I, I think you stay Rob here if you're Wadi. Wii Fit is uh, historically known for doing bad against short characters. Right. Game & Watch is really short, definitely, um, and Game & Watch has one of the best crouches in the game. Uh -huh. So I, I just feel like Meister is going to start crouching a lot, and it's really going to be really hard for Wii Fit to hit that. I know in Smash 4, Wii Fit struggled a lot versus Game & Watch. Yes. And, and I mean, they, they both kind of have like similar properties. It's a different game, obviously. So they're both like somewhat different characters. But um, I, I feel like Wadi just going to stick with the Rob this entire set. I mean, it makes a lot of sense. Wadi, uh, Wadi does have Rob, which is going to be you know his strongest character. Right. And so for him to stick it out with his strongest character, especially when it's your top eight qualifier match. Yeah, this that's sets, important uh, to this, note. This set's kind of important. This is a, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Yeah. I mean, that's a that's a good amount of points. Not only you gotta think about your PGR, you get you know, you gotta think about your wallet. Yeah. You gotta yeah. think about that checkbook. <laughs> okay, I heard King K. I was like, I'm getting trolled so hard. Right now. <laughs> All right. So Rob and Game and Watch is the pick. We're going into game number three. One apiece for both these competitors. Mm -hmm. It's like All that. Right. Um, Pokemon Stadium Two will be the battlefield here. That's true. I think they're just actually doing a sound check. Oh, wow, okay. Dang, so they did sound check into, in. into game. Love it. No reason to reset. Who cares about those extra couple seconds? These players aren't going to time anyways. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I, these, these players definitely, like, they're, you have to be defensive to some point, but they're definitely not running away from each other. Yeah. Okay, more up airs getting thrown at Wadi. He's able to weave around, not take too much damage along the way. I oh, know shield grab on that dash sack there. Down tilt into the port air, not going to connect. And Wadi trying to catch that uh, landing with the up air, but back air beating him out. Now I'm starting to think about like the previous games that we've been watching. Meister is so proficient at using the bucket. Whoa! Wow, and he caught he caught the suspect DI there because he parried right into the down tilt. So Wadi was not expecting that. He right. should have lived that. But Wadi had to have been maybe holding out or drifting out some way somehow. But typically we see Wadi like using down tilt as a tool, really trying to set up the gyro as a wall and then, you know, applying pressure for our opponents who are stuck in between. But Jeez. that's not the case here. Okay. All right. 62%. Yeah, Wadi kind of being a lot more aerial heavy and it just feels like Meister's being him out air to air. He knows exactly where to put his nair to beat his nair. You know what I mean? Like just the spacing is so phenomenal coming out from Meister. Wow, what a what a punish on that down what air. What a punish indeed. But yeah, like we were saying, you know. Uh, whenever, even when Meister is like landing from getting hit or getting back from a platform, he's landing with Bucket in case Gyro does come out, in case Laser does come out. Yeah. He's nullifying the projectile game. Yeah, he's doing an incredible job at it. Now Wadi trying to get up and over, trying to get these Nair pressures, but look at the pressure coming out from Meister, man. The double up air right into the jab on the platform, beautiful. Okay, up B is going to send them both up real high. Key at the ledge isn't going to connect. But okay, you saw that up smash not I come saw out. It, yeah. You saw the wind up. Yeah. And wow, just like that, another early stock for Meister. That's crazy. Now, yeah, like you said, landing with the bucket, really discouraging Wadi to use that tool to catch landing. And guess what? That's one of Rob's like safest ways to catch landings because he's not too quick on the ground. Okay, I don't know if you saw that, Korean, but we saw the gyro connect. The oh. gyro was of use. Oh, yeah. And look at this, now lapping him in percent, I just... I don't know what the answer is here for Wadi. I'm saying it you, you might be a time to, you know, pick up, put on the yoga pants. Yeah, it might be time for the yoga pants because the robot is not really working out. And here comes the upper Wadi again, forcing high, but the gyro with the coverage okay. having that ground control. And the back air does connect. Gyro hasn't been the most useful tool in this set, but guess what? Here in game three, it's it's uh, it's shown up a couple times. This time Wadi noticing the cross. I'm just going to roll away from the situation because in all those scramble situations, Game & Watch has the, the quicker option. He just has the upbeat, right? Yeah, that's so right. You just don't want to be in those situations with Rob. You keep the distance there. Honestly, I don't even know. I'm, I'm unsure about landing a <laughs> Nair right in front of him. Okay, what was that? I will <laughs> keep holding this down here, sir. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, and that's the key. Great yeah. DI, but it's still not good enough here for Wadi. Wadi with the head now. Brought him the last stock. But man, Meister just, it felt like Meister was in the driver's seat 
that entire game. The key is success is strong with Meister. Yeah, yeah, doing a really good job. And I mean, that game was somewhat close. So I wonder if you stay the Rob here. Like, like I said, the, the Wii Fit would be tough. It, it was, I, I just feel like it would be a tough matchup. You know, I think Wadi knows that, and that's why he's not opting to pick Wii Fit Trainer. I mean, you could try to throw him for a loop, right? Well, I mean, you're, that's already, what the, you're already down. You're down. If you lose again, you're out. Right, right. So, like, you could try to throw him for a loop, but you know for a fact that that's going to be a good matchup going in for Meister, right? Mm. So he, he, he like, it worked against Gluttony for a game, but I just I don't, I don't really see it working on Meister. Okay. Well, we can see Meister at the ledge, and the narrative goes to connect. Oh, you're you're dead. Spinny arms, and that's going to take stock. I haven't seen that conversion in quite some time. Yeah, yeah. Definitely first time uh, this tournament for me seeing that conversion. <laughs> really good stuff from Wadi. I'm pretty sure Wadi's hitting hit people off stream with it this tournament. But yeah, that Nair into the side B, really, really strong, especially against Game & Watch, a character that is very, very light. Yeah, they, I think he took a stock around like 70%. Oh, yeah. And, like right when I saw the Nair, I was like, yeah, that's a, that's a wrap, bro. <laughs> Move on to that next stock, rolling from the ledge, and the gyro playing a, a bit, having a more presence here in game four. Every time Wadi wants to set up a landing nair, Meister just knows and he's aware of it, and he just comes in with his own nair to anti air. It just it looks so hard for Wadi to land those. Hey, either that, or he just holds the R button and then up bees after the after the nair touches the shield. Yeah, the forward air not going to be the conversion that uh, Meister wanted there. Down throw into up tilt up air. That could be the stock. Yes, oh. it is. That looks like a cross up up air. Oh, uh, def that was definitely cross up up air. Yeah, Meister did not have the correct DI. He flew straight up. Oh, man, okay, gets we're 24. We're starting to see, uh, you know, Wadi really run away with this in game four. This is looking really similar to game one, how strong Wadi was. But what also happened in game one, Meister was able to bring it back and still make it a last hit situation. And yeah, those game and watch up airs, usually not going to kill. Um, you, they're pretty much mainly meant for damage here. I wonder if Wadi's going to bait out one of those, like, reflector buckets and just go for a side B. That's what I'm waiting for. You know, honestly, it might be. It's not time to cash in just yet. You're up a whole stock. The gyro is still out. Save it for game five. Maybe. Save it for game five. That's yeah, what yeah. I'm thinking. There's a down tilt. Man, and that was a really good edge guard situation before. And wow, oh. forward smash almost taking him. Down air, nope. Really good delay coming out from Meister. And there is the side B catching him. Stretching with that ledge drop, double jump Nair. And now Wadi making this game five situation with all the momentum on his side going into it. That's true. It's really just like, wow. honestly, who gets our engine started in, early in the game? Game one, game four, Wadi was able to put massive damage, massive numbers on a Meister, and then he just kept the train rolling. Meister, in other games, similar situation. Had the momentum, just maintained it. It yeah. doesn't seem like we're actually having like large momentum shifts between these two players. Yeah, it's, it's, and it's, uh, like you said, it doesn't really feel like back and forth. It's just like, oh, this guy is like completely dominating. Okay, now this guy's completely dominating. Like, dang, it's a coin is... flip. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll see. We'll, we'll see what the game five is, right? If, yeah. if you're if you're gonna be dominating any game, uh, I'm pretty sure game five is the one you want to be doing it on. That's true. So I'm sure no changes to characters. Taking his time, locking in Rob. Now both these players are poised for game five. This is loser side top eight qualifier. Nice sir. Go home or go to top eight. Yeah, that's that's the name of the game here. Meister had a very interesting grin on his face before going into this head nodding and grinning. I so think he I, has something in mind. Uh, what, yeah, maybe. What does he have planned? Uh, maybe he's got the nine. Dude, that's that's like up. a that's a sinister smile too. That's bro. what I'm saying, bro. <laughs> These game and watch mains. No, no, no. I'm just <laughs> All the game and watch mains. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, up till into jab. Of course, recovering high, using the key to make land right back to the stage. Okay, using these up airs, and we've seen Meister get a lot of damage with these up airs, but Wadi sitting at the 82 mark. Meister is the one that's going to catch this early lead. Well, there's the bucket, but wow, Wadi thought he was going to get the punish, but right there, Meister just landing with that down air. Oh. Yeah, taking his time and actually challenging the, the drop down from Meister. Gyro is going to connect and chase Ooh. him with the key! Man, I thought, I thought Meister was done. And just like that, the forward air exploding on the platform. Meister going to take the lead here. Okay, just toss him right off the stage. Well, we're going to be efficient for, for S smashes. Nair's at the, at the side of the ledge. Wadi needs a stock before he takes way too much damage. And already Meister clocking in on that damage. 46 and counting. Okay, and this is actually pretty dire for Wadi. He does not have access to a second jump. Okay, utilizing the up B is going, weaving around Meister, recovering high. Ooh, I like that. He just dashed to the, dashed to the left. Is he going to get the up smash? No, the mash is quick with this one, and the up B was quick to follow as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, now Wadi desperately trying to get this stock, but 
Meister just doing such a good job applying pressure and avoiding these kill options. No up smash out of shoot on that dash stack though. He, he may have just been afraid of like the up smash. Maybe has just a little bit too much wind up, and then uh, we could have seen Meister opt for an up B similar to that situation. Oh man, okay. and Wadi is getting all these trades, but he needs the stock to keep it close. Okay, getting a couple up airs and lands with a nair. Sweet spot that nair. 120% on Wadi. Is it too late? Uh, it, not yet. There's still, you know, there's still four stocks on the board. Okay. But Wadi's gonna have to play very, very solid. Avoid some of these kill options, and that forward air does connect. Okay, so. They're very smart from Wadi. Oh man, another forward air takes a stock. We're starting to see these forward air come out. Be really, maybe that was the grin. He was like, you know what? I've been misspacing the forward airs. Like, what if I drift in a little bit more? Yeah, I mean, it's working out so far. Very nice up air out of shield punish here. Now, game watch is very light. Maybe Wadi can get some kind of landing near towards the edge, get some kind of side B conversion going. But man, Meister is just taking full control of center stage. Taking full control and having a lot of confidence in holding down the down B button. Yeah, Keeping that bucket out. <laughs> Honestly, is the top just being on the ground better than flying the top at him? Because I think it's, it is. It's a little, it, it's a little harder to just like reflect the top just on the ground, right? But at the same time, like, how do you bring out the top without it like being sent at your opponent? You pretty Down much throw. have to like throw it across stage. Man, Wadi knew the match was going to come out really fast this time, but was not able to get the punish. The uppy just puts Game Watch in a really, I mean, a better situation than you know the previous one. Three up airs and an uppy, 125% onto Wadi. He's looking grim. For our oh, boy from man. MDBA. Yeah, right now he's gotta he's gotta survive. Where's the back air? No, the down air no and untech. Untechable. That move's just too strong. Yeah. And we talked about both these players going back.